Welcome again to Microscan's Machine Vision Lighting Training Series. This presentation discusses feature analysis. In this presentation, you'll learn about the features required to analyze a part for machine vision lighting. Understanding the features of a part is essential to determining what type of lighting will be required in an application. We will cover the five common object features and their properties. To select the best lighting source for your application, it's important to analyze and identify which part feature should stand out and which should be diminished. Five common part features affected by lighting are absorption, texture, elevation, shape, and translucency. This is referred to as the A-test technique. Let's start with absorption. An object's perceived color is based on which light wavelengths are being absorbed and reflected. This fact can be used to create contrast by controlling the color of a light source. For example, if you have a green PCBA, a red light will show the PCA as dark. A green light would show it as light. A light source and part feature that are similar colors will reflect more light and the feature will appear bright. A light source and the part that are opposite colors will reflect less light and the feature will, will be dark. You can use this handy color wheel to determine opposing colors. In this example, the application is to locate a fiducial on a printed circuit board. The goal is to make the green background appear darker and to create contrast against a light colored fiducial. We reference the color wheel to determine that the red is the opposite color of green and should be used for the light source. The images on the right demonstrate the effect of different colored lighting sources, including red, which provides the best contrast. Infrared light has a tendency to diminish color features in some materials. In this example, the effects of white light and infrared light are demonstrated using a black and white camera. On the picture on the left, with white light, you can see the various color shades as they appear under white light. In the example on the right, infrared light causes all of the paper on the labels of the crayons to look white. The reflective properties of a surface texture can be used to create contrasts and features such as an etched mark or a mirror-like surface. In this example, a low angle or dark field light is aimed at a part. The smooth surface reflects light away from the camera in a specular fashion while the rough texture of an etched mark scatters light back toward the camera in a diffuse fashion. The result is a high contrast, reliable image of the etched data matrix. If a bright field light were to be used in an example, or a light that's coming down from the top, the etched feature would become inverted and appear dark against a bright reflective background. Here are some examples of a textured and non-textured surfaces that would generate contrast against each other. Consideration of texture is important in choosing a proper light source. It is also very useful when designing a part that requires marking or will have a traceable feature of interest. Much like smooth and rough textures, an elevated feature reflect light differently than a non-elevated feature. The two examples on the left demonstrate the contrast that is produced by an elevated surface feature. The example to the right demonstrates the inverse effects of bright field and dark field illumination on an elevated surface. Identifying the shape or outline of a part is a very common application. There are two basic lighting techniques that can produce this result. Front lighting a part with dark field illuminator will produce an outline of the shape of the feature. Backlighting a part with a diffuse backlight will produce a silhouette of the shape of the feature. Choosing between these techniques should be based on the feature of interest in an application. Many machine vision systems work on edges. A backlight can produce nice sharp edges, but typically only the outside edges of a part are available. The translucency of an object can be analyzed by using a backlight. Different densities of a, in a part will yield different reflections back to the camera, as seen in this example. Other applications using translucency may, might include detecting air bubbles in glass or the inspection of screen printing on a clear surface. Seeing through the part or seeing through materials is one way of inspecting inside a package or inside a bottle. Often infrared light is used for inspecting through a part. 
This quick reference chart is available at Microscan.com under the Lighting section. Using the 8-Test technique to define features can be very helpful. In review, feature analysis is the first step in defining a lighting solution. Clearly identify the feature of interest, with the goal to create contrast between it and the background. Use the A-Test to help identify some common features and correlate the feature to proper lighting technique. Each application is unique but by using the A-Test, you will narrow down the options for machine vision lighting that is required for the application. To find more information or to view other presentations in this series, please visit microscan.com. If you have any questions, feel free to contact us at training at microscan.com. Thank you for your time.